Hey guys, so I am going to continue my declutter series with foundations, concealers, and other face products. I will provide a link to the playlist of my other declutter videos if you'd like to see other aspects of my collection. So to start with, I have three acrylic drawers from that acrylic unit I have uh, on my vanity. And these kind of have my go-to products ones that I'm currently using, so I probably won't declutter much from this uh, little series, but I thought I would go ahead and show you. So the topmost drawer is right here, and in it I have a Tarte CC under eye corrector, like so, which is nice. And then I also have, uh, this is the Giorgio Armani master corrector in one and I've been using this a lot more recently it's a little bit darker as you can see uh, this one's more liquidy this is creamier I don't know really which one I prefer the Tarte one might be a little bit cheaper and they have sales more often so uh, but I do like this and then I have two Urban Decay corrector samples this is I believe one of these is green and one of these is peach. So these were, I think these were just in the sample section of Sephora. They weren't anything that you needed to code for. So I haven't really played with these much. But I have those. So I have basically my correctors and under eye setting powders in this little drawer. Uh, this is the e.l.f. High Definition Under Eye Setting Powder is really inexpensive. I have a love-hate relationship with these kind of pots because they always seem to make a mess but anyway. So I have the e.l.f. I have a sample of the By Terry Hyaluronic Hydra Powder. And this is again just another little sifter jar. The Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. And then the Besame Translucent Brightening Vanilla Powder. This one has a little puff to it. And this one actually has like a, kind of like a lid. So that's nice, it kind of helps it from getting too messy. And then I have the Makeup Forever HD Powder, the Tarte. Uh, clay finishing powder. I'm guessing this was a sample. And then I have a sample of the Cogen Doe. I think this is the same. I think this is the, I can't pronounce it, Mo Moisture Foundation in shade 02. So I could probably stand to get rid of it now that I've bought it in full size. But anyway, that was the sample I got. And I also have the NARS Pressed translucent crystal light reflecting setting powder. So that is that first drawer. And the next one I have concealers. So I have the Tarte Shape Tape in Fair. I have the NARS Concealer in Vanilla. I have the Naked Skin Concealer in Fair Neutral. I have the Sephora Bright Future Gel Serum Concealer. I have the Makeup Forever HD Concealer in R20. I have the Born This Way Concealer in Very Fair. I have the Lancome Waterproof Concealer in 100 Porcel. I'm guessing it's porcelain. I have the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in number 15 Fair. I have the Clinique Airbrush Concealer, like so, and then I have the MAC Prep and Prime in Radiant Rose, which I don't think I've used yet. A lot of people like that for under the eyes. I have the Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealer and the Clarins Instant Concealer. And then this is technically a primer, but this is the L'Oreal Magic Lumi Light Infusing Primer. So. That is that side. This side is uh, all my blushes that I currently have out. And 
And then finally, this has more foundations, um, some contour powders. This is the Cogendo Moisture Foundation, the It Cosmetics CC Plus Cream, which is sort of getting towards the end. I have the Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder Foundation in number one fair, which I feel like is a bit too dark, that or it oxidized, but I'm not totally thrilled with that one. And then I think a lot of these ones are just various contour powders. This is the Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder in Light. I have the Kiko Contouring Pencil in Bronze, or Bronzer, I guess. Uh, this was a limited edition product. And I have a Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer in number nine, neutral. I think this, this was probably a deluxe sample and it's obviously not my shade, so I thought maybe I could use it as a contour shade. This is the Ambient uh, Lighting Powder in Diffused Light. I usually don't need to set my makeup because I'm very dry, but if I do, I set it with something like this, a little bit yellow toned, helps cancel out redness. And then the Sonia Kashuk Contour Stick. And then two Maybelline Fit Me Concealers that I thought could be good for contouring. The NYX Powder Blush in Taupe. I think this has been discontinued, but a lot of people like that for a contour. And then I also have the Illamasqua Cream Pigment in Hollow, which looks a bit weird where it hasn't been touched, but anyway. And then I got this little sample of an Anastasia foundation stick. This is in the shade Fawn, which again, not much product, but I thought that could be a good contour. So that is this little drawer. Okay, and then I have this little pencil uh, container on my on top of my vanity. So I have some tools here, as you can see. There's a mirror, my eyelash curler. Uh, this is the Tarte BB Tinted Moisturizer. And they still have this product, I believe, but the shade that I used was Agent 00, which I think they renamed. I think they repackaged it. Uh, and I'm, it's pretty much gone, but I think because it wasn't available anymore, uh, I didn't really want to use it up entirely, which is silly because once it's gone, it's gone. Uh, so I really just need to... I should probably just toss it at this point because it's old, but uh, I did like it, but unfortunately they don't make this shade anymore. So I have the uh, Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation in R250, which is just kind of a good higher coverage. I mean, it's not the most full coverage, but it's pretty decent uh, foundation and it works pretty well on my dry skin. Sometimes it feels a bit tight by the end of the day, but anyway. Uh, this is a brush cleaning spray, so that's not really... Oh, I think I... Here's the little... In case you're curious, let's see. Threshold Desk Organizer. Anyway, just look on Target is where it came from. There's some dust. Uh, so these are other uh, Kojendo foundation samples. There's more of the, I guess these are all the Aqua foundation, which I haven't really gotten into. I have a MAC Fix Plus in Rose. I don't really use Fix Plus all that often, as you can tell, but anyway, there is a Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I think this is a travel size. I have a Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist, which I bought during the hype, but I don't haven't actually used much. I don't really use setting mists generally. Uh, this is the Too Faced Hangover RX, which is okay. The Ombre Lise Le Creme Concentrate, if I'm saying that right. Um, this is about expired, actually. So 
I should probably just use this as a general moisturizer before it's completely expired. I have a sample of the First Aid Beauty Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer, which I should try out. I have a sample of the Becca Backlight Priming Filter, which is okay. And then finally a sample, it's not a sample, a 1.7 fluid ounce size of the Autopilot Skin Primer from Napoleon Perdis. And I think I got this off Hot Look. Did I mention this? I also have the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops in P20 for what it's worth. Okay, so those are all my products that are kind of within easy reach. And then in my Alex 9 drawer, I have a one of the larger drawers, one of the deeper ones devoted to foundation products. So just to show you can see. I have this acrylic organizer from the container store and I've just put some items in here that I was I had on top of my desk or on top of the Alex 9 drawer that I just kind of threw in the drawer while I was taking everything out and getting organized so I have a couple of I guess body makeup type things. I have the Jergens BB Body Perfecting Skin Cream and then the Sally Hansen Airbrush Legs in Light. And then I have just a few setting sprays. I have the Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray. And then I have samples of the All Nighter, and this is pretty old packaging. And then the B6 Vitamin Infused Complexion Prep Spray. So I have both of those. And then I have a Aven thermal spring water. I think this is just basically water. Anyway, that is what I'm filling up and there's some space uh, around the drawers. I'll try to link this specific organizer if they still sell it at the container store. So I've already separated some items that I know I'm getting rid of because they're expired or they're just really old. Uh, so I'll go through those with you really quickly. I have some Kind of indie mineral makeup here. This is from the brand Affordable Mineral Makeup. I don't know if they're still uh, in existence or not, but that is where all these came from. I went through a phase where I wore mineral makeup. Let's see if we can. Is that better? Okay. Uh, and then I have some Color Science, which is kind of makeup slash sunscreen. Uh, this is the Sun Forgettable Mineral Powder SPF 50 in Fair. This expired in 2013. This is the Loose Mineral Foundation in SPF 20, all dolled up, I guess, as the shade. Again, expired in 2013. I think this is a refill, yeah, of the powder. This expired in 2014. This was SPF 50 Fair Matte. I think this is a refill for this one. And then I had the, uh, what is this, ice cream, protective diffusing powder. And this was kind of a cool little, what's it called? Packaging, I guess. So it was this little ball and it came with a little fan brush. I'll probably keep this, although I don't know what I'll use it for. But anyway, cute little package there. And then this Josie Marin Foundation has an SPF of 30, and I believe if products do say they have sunscreen, they're supposed to have an expiration on them. This expired in February 2015. So that's one way to know when your products have gone off. This is a little Tarte BB primer. This expired in August 2014. These are from Dr. Jart Beauty Balm. This is SPF 45. Uh, this is Black Label Detox, so I guess they're slightly different products. This expired in 20, 2016, I believe, and this one expired in 2015. I have this little sample of the Maestro makeup from Giorgio Armani. This expired in July of 2015. The, I think I have two hourglass samples. These both expired in 2015. 
This is just really old. This is the Bobbi Brown. It's the Creamy Concealer in Pale Yellow Powder. So it's a concealer and setting powder. And I definitely, I think, got some good use out of this, but I just, I remember when I was using it, and it's been a long time, so that's got to go. And then this expired in 2015, another Dr. Jart. This expired in 2016, the Too Faced Beauty Balm. These are just really old drugstore products. This is the Neutrogena Skin Clearing concealer it's supposed to have I think salicylic acid yeah so to use on blemishes this one is an eye base and concealer from Alme so both of these that have kind of spongy type applicators are just kind of gross another hourglass primer this also expired in 2015 this Estee Lauder I think this came in a gift with purchase it has the uh, double wear Stay in Place Flawless Wear Concealer in Light Medium, which is too dark for me, and then also a mascara. Oh, and you can see it's like dried out. Yeah. So this needs to go in the trash. I have a Yabby Concealer, which I think came in maybe an Ipsy or something. I'm just not really a fan of that kind of packaging. And then this Clinique sample I got from a counter. This was in the Super Moisture Foundation. I don't think they make that anymore, so I will be getting rid of that. And then finally, this Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer in Light, which I believe is too dark for me, and I have a second one that's a little less worn, so I think I'm going to say goodbye to this one. So that is one sort of declutter trash pile. I know in a lot of my declutter videos, I'm not very good about actually getting rid of items, but I'm a little bit more ruthless with face products because I think since a lot of them are liquids and creams, they can tend to go off faster, and if it's the wrong shade, it's the wrong shade, so there's no point in keeping it. And really, I, I don't... If you have kind of like a, a light coverage foundation, a more heavy coverage. If you have several different options in each category, you're probably good. So this box is pretty tall, so I don't know if you're getting a good sense of what I have, but I will just pull things out. So this is the It Cosmetics CC Plus Airbrush Perfection Perfecting Powder in Fair. And this is a product I haven't used. So I might might sell that. I don't really use pressed powder, or if I do, I use like the hourglass. So I don't know. Haven't totally decided. So there's a powder. This is an hourglass ambient lighting powder and diffused light, like the one I showed you. And I basically swatched this, I think, because I hauled it in a video and I thought I'd lost the other one, so I bought a replacement, and then of course I found the other one, so I haven't decided what I want to do with that. I don't really need it. I'm probably not going to run out of the other one anytime soon. I have an e.l.f. Natural Mineral Makeup Mineral Pearls. I think this is supposed to be a dupe for the Guerlain. So you can see I haven't really gotten these or played with these any. So there's also the e.l.f. SPF 45 sunscreen, which I kind of thought would be a replacement for the Color Science. For how cheap these products are, I'm kind of impressed with the packaging, actually. So it's a pretty hefty jar. And it comes with a little puff and then like a sifter jar like that. So. I think Tara Babies, Tara, said she really liked this product. I don't think it has an expiration date on it, but I th also think that for pure physical sunscreens like this that just have titanium dioxide and zinc oxide, you're not worried about the chemicals expiring the same way you are with a traditional kind of chemical sunscreen. Okay, 
So I have the Ben Nye Neutral Set Colorless Face Powder. I might get rid of this. I don't, I don't bake. My skin is too dry for it, so I don't really need that. I have samples of loose powder that are basically good enough. This is the Tarte BB Hybrid Gel Foundation in Fairlight Neutral. And I got this as one of those kits they do where you pick out like a foundation and a blush and all these other products. So I haven't really used this. I should try it. I smell. It smells okay. It just smells like, I don't know, it smells like makeup, I guess. Okay, there's that. I have the MAC Full Coverage Foundation in NW20. Like so, this is the Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer. Like I told you, this is in light. And I got these, I think, when QVC had a lot of Tarte special value sets. Uh, let's see, I have a Lorac Touch Up To Go Concealer Foundation Pen. I did a review of this a long time ago. I think, I think I'm ready to throw this one away. I sold one that hadn't been used to Glam Bomb. I have the Time Bomb Concealer from The Balm in Lighter Than Light. I haven't used this. I think I will probably sell it. I have a pressed powder from The Balm in the shade Sexy Mama. I don't think it's the shade, it's just what it's called. It's a translucent powder. And like I said, I don't really need pressed powders, but I kind of like the kind of pinup vintage -y packaging of this, so I will probably keep it. I have a Stila One Step Color Corrector uh, Primer, and I think I will sell this because I just don't use it. Okay, I have the Urban Decay, uh, what is it, Weightless Ultra Definition Liquid Makeup in the shade 0.5. Uh, I think I will probably sell this one too. I don't think it's a good color match for me. And then I have a sample of the Josie Marin Vibrancy Foundation in Dynamic, which I don't think this is probably a good color match, but it was one of those samples where you had a limited number of choices. I have the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer in Light, which I will keep. I have the Makeup Forever Lift Concealer. Don't know what shade this is in. One, I guess. So I will keep that. I have this Amazing Cosmetics Corrector, which has a green side and like a peachy side. Uh, I didn't really fall in love with this when I tried it. I should probably give it another go to see what I think of it. A Bare Minerals Mineral Veil. I think this was a sample I got in something. I don't think it's been used. Oops. I have a Sephora CC cream in Fair and don't think this one has an expiration date. I don't even know if they sell this. Okay, so I have the Bye Bye Foundation. I don't know if this is still something that It Cosmetics sells. It was part of that kit that I did a video on. I have the CCI in Fair. And then I have, these are the other uh, moisture foundation shades from Kojendo, which I just have in this box. Here's another uh, little sample of the Makeup Forever HD foundation. This is in the shade Y225. So definitely more yellow toned. Let's see, I have the MAC Face and Body Foundation in N1, I guess. I have this Laura Geller Spackle Tinted Under Makeup Primer in Champagne. This was uh, from the video where I basically depotted the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer into these 
kind of lip gloss type jars. I got a lot of flack for it, but anyway, it was worth a shot, right? Uh, I got the Trish McAvoy Line Refiner. I guess it's like primer. This Cover FX Illuminating Primer. The Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. This was a sample, I believe, of the Clinique Chubby in the Nude Foundation Stick in Intense Ivory. Like so. This is the MAC Studio Conceal and Correct Duo. I didn't really care for this either. Kind of is similar concept to one of these. Just different shades. I have a Bobbi Brown Foundation Stick. Which I haven't used. I might get rid of this. I don't think foundation sticks are actually good for dry skin. At least the ones that I've tried. Case in point, the Makeup Forever HD. I thought this would be more emollient and moisturizing than the liquid form, but I think it's actually harder to blend in. I have a sample of the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Oil, which I should probably just add to my skincare uh, storage because I'm more likely to remember to use it that way. Uh, let's see. This is a Sheer Cover Duo Concealer in Light Medium. I'm going to get rid of this one. The shades don't look right, and I don't even know where it came from. This is a Clinique Even Better Makeup Broad Spectrum SPF 15. Uh, and again, neutral, medium neutral fair. I don't know. It's the shade 05. Probably not my shade. I should probably find a way to pass that to someone who might be able to use it. Let's see. Another Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. Those just spring up like weeds, I swear. Uh, this is the Makeup Forever Step 1 Smoothing Primer. A little blot book, which I don't need because I don't have oily skin, but it's a really cute little packaging, I guess. I should probably just give it to my husband. This is the Revlon Age Defying Wrinkle Remedy Line Filler, which I haven't tried. Another one of those MAC Pro Longwear. This was a sample of the Amore Pacific Cushion Compact pink undertone. So this says tan blush, almond blush. I don't know. Those are probably too dark. I have a Smashbox Photo Finish Hydrating Under Eye Primer, which I think I have a larger size of somewhere. The Bye Bye Concealer from It Cosmetics. Again, another Smashbox. This is why I'm so irritated whenever I get one in a subscription box or something because I just have them everywhere. Another Becca Backlight Priming Filter. I have these two CoverGirl Contour Palettes, which I intended to make a video of, but I never did. I believe these were supposed to have been developed with Pat McGrath. So I got the medium and the light shades of those. Here is the e.l.f. Perfect Finish HD Powder, which I believe is just a pressed powder. I think they were supposed to send me something else and they accidentally sent me this instead. So just a pressed powder, a little sponge on the bottom. If I can find someone who wants some of these things, I will one of my friends or something, I will just send it to them. Okay, another Clinique chubby stick. This one is in Bountiful Beige. Cover FX Illuminating Primer. Did I already have one of these? Yes. We'll have to see when I start putting things in the, in the insert how it all shakes out. The Greek Yogurt Primer. The MAC Prep and Prime Natural Radiance Base. I have a Burberry Fresh Glow Luminous Fluid Base, It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Tinted Skin Blurring Finishing Powder, a Japanesque Radiance Primer, a Clinique Airbrush Concealer. This is a slightly different shade, I think, than the one I showed you earlier. Here's another airbrush concealer. I have backups of some Clinique products that I never finished the one I had, so 
I still have the backup. A little sample of the Stila Stay All Day HD Beauty Balm. This is a backup of the Tarte Under Eye Corrector in Light Medium, which I haven't used. I'm tempted to get rid of this one. A Tarte Foundation in Light. I think this might be too dark for me. I think I need a lighter shade, so that one might be going. Another little Smashbox Primer Oil. Alright, a Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer in the green shade, so kind of redness canceling. This is a little Ultra Radiance Facial Rehydrating Mist from Benefit. There's not really much left in there. A Lancome Primer. A Laura Mercier Foundation Primer. Alright, a Bare Minerals Prime Time Foundation Primer. Another of the Makeup Forever Step 1 primers. A MAC Strobe Cream. A NARS Primer. Dr. Jart BB Balm. This one doesn't expire till 2019, so we're good. Benefit Professional. A sample of the Smashbox Primer Water. This is the Smashbox uh, Under Eye Primer that I was saying I had a bigger one of. I have several of the Maybelline Age Rewind. I guess I've used the most of the brightening shade. So I guess I'll keep these for now. I can always get rid of the sponge if I want to kind of freshen them up a bit. Okay, another MAC Skin Base. Illamasqua Hydra Veil, Ajoué, oops, Mo Matte Moisture Tint Sunscreen, another Smashbox, let's see, Skin Base, this is Pixie uh, Correction Concentrate, and I wanted to do a comparison of this, which is in a little pot, and the Tarte, and I have this NYX one. I'm not sure if those are all the shades or all the different types I have. Another Illamasqua Hydra Veil. This is the Eve Pearl Dual Salmon Concealer. So, might be time to get rid of that one. It's looking a little rough. Another Napoleon Perdis Skin Primer. This is the Pericone MD No Foundation Foundation Serum. I think this was actually a uh, deluxe sample or it, I don't think this is a full size expires October 15 so I guess I'll be getting rid of that one again this just has zinc oxide as the active ingredient but it kind of does show you how old the product is all right I have two Il Illamasqua skin base foundations in uh, 02 and 3.5 I don't remember why I chose these particular shades, but I did. I have a Clinique All About Eyes Concealer in Light Neutral. There are two It Cosmetics products here. This one is Bye Bye Under Eye, and this one is a, you know, corrector basically. And then a Bye Bye Redness. Ooh which I might get rid of this one. This one just looks a little dried out. I think this was a bit too dark for me anyway. And then I have a NYX Wonder Stick. This is a highlight and contour stick in light medium. I have, these are uh, the contour sticks from Smashbox and I wasn't in love with these, especially, I think I only wanted it for the contour stick basically, and they sold them as a trio before you could buy them individually. Uh, so there's those. I have this It Cosmetics cushion foundation, and um, this is probably just about dried out. Yeah, I should probably get rid of this one. I remember liking it. And they put this out before cushions were really kind of a big thing. 
so they were a little ahead of the trend on that but this is I mean there's still some liquid in there but it's definitely kind of a wasteful delivery method you don't get that much product so I think I need to check to see if oops this doesn't go that way I think they might sell refills so I think maybe I can just pop this out and keep the outer packaging. I'll have to look into that. Okay, and then last but not least, this was the foundation I used years ago, really. Uh, and I should probably get rid of this one. It looks a little old. Uh, but this is the Super Balanced Makeup in Breeze. Normal to oily. That is not me. So, yeah, this one hasn't been used. The problem with foundations uh, is that you have to find someone who is the right shade to give it to. So, and I don't think Glambot takes Clinique, which I don't really understand. But anyway, this is the mess that I have to sort through. So uh, I'll try and hop on after I've gone through it to kind of give you an idea of the, the overall keeps and giveaways. Okay guys, so picking up where I left off, I forgot to show you these four items earlier. These are sort of what I keep in my bathroom vanity drawer. So I have the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream SPF 30 in the shade Opal, which I think is the lightest shade. Uh, but anyway, this is just a really light coverage kind of tinted moisturizer product. And then I really like this Kiehl's Clearly Corrective Dark Circle Perfector titanium dioxide sunscreen SPF 30 and I think it's marketed more as a skincare product but it really does a nice job of acting just like a light concealer so I think it provides a fair amount of pigment and it just really helps to kind of brighten the under eye area so slightly yellow tone but anyway I think it looks really nice on my skin tone which is a little bit more pinky and uh, I just really like it so this one says it expired in 0517 well that's not good I actually I bought another one of these to keep in my work bag so maybe I need to swap those out uh, this is just a titanium dioxide sunscreen so typically I don't know why they chose the expiration date that they did, but I'm a little bit more, I guess, observant of expiration dates with chemical sunscreens, which I don't tend to use anyway because they irritate my skin, but long story short. And then I have, this also says expires 0717, so maybe I'll just get rid of this one. This is the Paracone No Concealer Concealer. This has an SPF of 35 which I think is supposed to be broad spectrum and I kind of wanted to do a comparison of these two products so maybe I'll try and do that really quickly uh, but this one it just never really worked it's thicker it's definitely darker and for someone as fair as I am it just never really looked natural on me so if you are more of a medium skin tone this might be a good product for you but I prefer the Kiehl's and then finally this is the Benefit Fake Up Concealer this is in the shade light and this is the older packaging I like this but again I think it's a little bit too dark too yellow tone for me uh, but it did provide sort of a nice kind of moisturizing highlight. So I think with that, I'm keeping the Complexion Rescue. I might swap out the Kiehl's for the newer one I have and then quickly do a comparison with this one and the Kiehl's before this goes off. And I guess I'll keep this one for now. There's still a decent amount of product. I might send this one to Glambot since it doesn't really work for me. I think I might have samples of this as well. 
So anyway, those were my bathroom products. Okay, and then I thought I'd just quickly show you kind of the status of the new uh, containers. So this is what I'm keeping in here now. I have the MAC uh, Fix Plus, the Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray. Uh, this is the Tinted Moisturizer, and I looked at their website, and it appears they do make a fair with pink undertones, which I think is the same shade. They've changed the packaging and everything, so I think I'm just going to keep this for a little while just as a shade reference and uh, just to make sure it still matches me. I have my Kevin eyelash curlers, the MAC, or not the MAC, the Makeup Forever HD foundation, and then I have three primers. I have the Napoleon Produce, and then I have the Too Faced Hangover RX, and this little Fab Coconut Skin Primer. So that is what is in this little container. And then this top drawer, I just basically added the Smashbox Photo Finish Hydrating Under Eye Primer, just so I maybe use it up. I don't think this does a really good job of eliminating lines. I think it might just help keep things nice and hydrated, so I just put that in there. And then with this drawer, this is the bottom drawer, I just added the NYX Wonder Stick to the contour, like so. And then in this one, I think I just added the Becca Backlight Priming Filter, because it has the Lumi filter. I think that's the only change in that drawer. Alright, so I will show you the items that I am selling. I have the Ben Nye Neutral Set, the Time Balm Concealer, the Tarte Maracuja Concealer, the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation, the Stila One Step, the Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation, and then three little primers. I have two of the Smashbox Photo Finish Primers and then this MAC Prep and Prime Skid Base sample. So those are leaving my collection. And then as far as what I'm getting rid of, I have everything I showed you earlier. So a lot of these sort of oops, expired products. And then I'm also getting rid of uh, this sheer cover, this Lorac, or Lorac touch up to go, uh, this Clinique super balanced makeup, which is quite old and it looks like it's basically out anyway. Yeah. Used most of that up. These Amore Pacific uh, cushion foundations, I think these may be expired in 2015 anyway. So, there you go. The Jouer uh, do, 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 matte moisture tint that expired in March. This Eve Pearl dual salmon concealer so, the Pericone MD No Foundation Foundation, which has expired. This is just the box for it. And then the It Bye Bye Redness Correcting Cream, which just looks a bit gross. Uh, so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that overview. I think I will try to quickly show you the foundation drawer, if I can do it without making it too... Uh, What's the word? Jumpy. Okay, so I just kind of moved my tripod around. I'm actually sitting on the floor, and this is my Alex unit. I will do a full kind of tour, if it'll focus, uh, of this Alex drawer, but this is my foundation drawer. It's the first of the deeper drawers, 
and I've put in that acrylic unit I showed you so I will just kind of try to go over everything. In the far back I have primers that are more pore filling, oil, oil absorbing kind of samples that uh, I'm just not likely to need. I have that Sexy Mama powder, some other powders. Uh, over here I have the setting sprays and then here I have kind of the more tube-like concealers. In this uh, section I have correctors. There's a little bit of space along the side here that I just put in some of the powders that are still in their boxes. I have the body products here. Oops. And then, let's see, here in this section that you can't really see, I just have those two Clinique chubby sticks. I have more of the moisturizing, illuminating primers here. And then in this front section, the really big one, let's see if we can, there we go. Uh, I have all the foundations. And let's see. In this corner, I have those uh, Smashbox, what are they called? The contour sticks and this blink mascara tin. So I would probably put them in one of these drawers, you can see. Uh, the drawer above it has my highlighting, bronzing, contouring powders, but uh, just due to space and kind of the nature of the products, uh, that didn't really work. So then in the very front I have these uh, CoverGirl palettes. Again, I might put those in the drawer above, but they don't really fit. This e.l.f. powder, mineralites, mineral powder, whatever. And then some of those samples that I showed you. So I hope that gives you a good overview. It's always hard to film these drawers because they don't come out very far. But anyway, that is my sort of backup collection that I have what I showed you in those drawers. So again, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and let me know if you have any questions or comments and I will talk to you soon. Bye.